Well, folks, President Joe Biden admitted on Friday evening that the U.S. southern border is, in fact, not secure after years of the region experiencing catastrophic surges in illegal aliens pouring into the U.S. due to Biden's immigration policies. Now, this is interesting because seven days ago, while departing Camp David, the president was asked if there was a situation at the border and if it's a crisis. And he said, no, I've been pushing them, my Republican colleagues, since they got in office. I think we have to make major changes to the border. But he's saying it's not a crisis. But here, now he's admitting it's not secure. So what the hell's going on then? If you have 10 million people pouring across the border and you're saying it's not secure and it's just a situation, then what would classify it as a crisis? Because there's an invasion happening. Well, here's the clip with Jackie Heinrich, Wonder Woman, that we love here on the Bob Brad Show, having a discussion with the President of the United States in regards to the border not being secure. Mr. President, do you think you can convince BB on a two state solution? You guys, th this is a man that's struggling to process information. He is struggling big time. And that's why just again, a week ago, we talked about delusion. This guy's delusional. And for those that were kind of having a tough time hearing what was going on, uh, he was asked, hey, what do you say to Republicans who are trying to impeach Mayorkas? A reporter asked. He goes, I don't get it. What, what is there not to get? The guy has a clear dereliction of duty. He's not doing anything. Also, he lied to Congress multiple times and say what Joe Biden did. Do you think it's unconstitutional? Biden didn't respond. You guys, he, he like phased out. Like Biden left the building, probably never showed up in the first place. The guy, I know, I know I keep repeating myself, but it is really astonishing. This guy got 82 million votes in air quotes. I, I don't believe it myself. There's just no way in hell. Empty parking lots when he's on the campaign trail. Can't fill a stadium. The reporter followed up with another question asking, well, you know, do you think the border security, at least he had for, for, a, for a moment in time, you guys, we had Biden with his head on straight. For like a, a blip of a second, and maybe it was a gaffe, he says, no, it's not. <laughs> it's like the only truthful thing we've had from Joe Biden in the last three years. You know, I don't know, maybe the puppet sat there and, you know, took a break for like, again, a half a second. I haven't believed that for at least 10 years. And I've said it for the last 10 years. No, <laughs> no you haven't? Bullshit. We've seen every White House press briefing. You think the thing's secure? Your own DHS secretary said as much. So don't give me this. You haven't been pushing this. You haven't been clear on it, even though that's what the White House has been saying for the last three years. Well, we've been clear. Oh, well, we've been clear on this. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. That's why people are showing up wearing Biden shirts, praising Biden, kissing his feet when they come here illegally. So I just wanted to bring the, the latest and greatest news. I just love the fact that Jackie Heineck here on, on Twitter herself called out the fact that, look at this, uh, did not give an answer. Do you think it's unconstitutional? No answer. He can't process it, Jackie. That's why. That's why he didn't give you an answer. But she's out there doing the Lord's work, folks. But there you have it. Biden admitting that the border is not secure. All the while, he's going to sit there and throw lawsuit after lawsuit at Greg Abbott of Texas, Doug Ducey of Arizona, uh, maybe Ron DeSantis of Florida. We'll see in, you know, in the coming months here what happens of it. But they're doing everything they can to allow and exacerbate the problem. All the while at the same time, say it's not secure. All the while at the same time, say DHS Secretary Alejandro Marcus is completely fine. At the same time, throw millions of dollars at a problem in Latin America, finding the root causes of which they're not actually doing. So we'll see what comes of it. Vote Trump 2024 or whoever you feel is the likely candidate to ultimately turn this country around. Folks, hit that like and subscribe button. Show us with your friends and family all over social media. And I'll see you tomorrow here on The Ball Brad Show.